What's up YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Axiom Envy. This is the new offshoot of MVP discs. Um, they released a few models so far already. This is the uh, the first putter that they released in this plastic uh, type with the two different colors and the Axiom line. Um, it's still Neutron plastic, just like MVP. Um, and the overmold plastic feels pretty much the same and performs the same, just, just different colors added to it. Um, I guess they decided that you know, adding these color combinations was something they wanted to do, but I guess they decided that they didn't want to mess with the kind of signature look of the MVP with the kind of futuristic black um, black overmold, black stamp kind of vibe that they have going on, which is kind of iconic and I do like very much, and that's one of the reasons I like I like MVP um, plastic is I just really like the way it looks. It, it's appealing to me visually. Um, and that's what led me to try it, and then the flights are what led me to uh, keep throwing them because they just fly so good. Um, so I guess they figured that they didn't want to mess with that and uh, start introducing all these vibrant colors to the overmolds. So they decided to um, create an offshoot of MVP called Axiom Discs and offer the colors um, in those models. I think that that was a bad move. I'm not happy with that decision myself at all. Um, just because I already throw the anodes, I have like a bunch of anodes, I have like six of them. Um, I have several axes in the bag, three axes, three volts. Absolutely love those molds, and I don't want to have to try all brand new molds to get these interesting color combinations. I would love to have an axis that looked like this, or had, you know, two different color uh, plastics going on. I would love to have a volt and an anode like that as well. So I'm really disappointed that's the way they went, they decided to go about this kind of uh, change, but um, this is the first putter that they've released, the first one I've thrown, and I really like it. It's going to go in the bag, so ultimately it's not the end of the world. Um, I still love the way my, uh, you know, that my regular traditional black and white rimmed MVP molds look. They still look great, and then, you know, this one is already the first one I've tried. I already like it, so I'm sure they'll release other ones in the Axiom line that I dig. Um, hopefully they release something very similar to the Volt, so I'd love to have a Volt in these interesting colors. But on to the Envy. He's the star of the show for this particular review. So you can see the Axiom logo there. It's there it says Envy. Uh, kind of an interesting stamp going on with this guy. There's the Neutron uh, plastic logo and uh, Axiom Disc Neutron plastic. Same exact plastic types as they use in MVP runs. Um, NV putting approach. I'll give you a look at the rim design on this guy. A little smudge there. It's just mud. Don't worry about that. Um, so I really love the vibrant color of this particular one. They have uh, more understated stuff like just a you know, white flight plate, white uh, rim, or the, I think they even have the white and black, you know, like the traditional, um, you know, black overmolds like, uh, like MVP stuff. Um, but I picked this one mainly because I, I love vibrant colors, especially for, for stuff I'm going to throw off the tee because it helps me find it um, in a lot of the wooded courses and stuff that I play out here. Um, but also I wanted to have something that kind of, uh, you know, showed off the new vibrant color combinations that you're going to be able to achieve um, when ordering these new Axiom, Axiom discs. So yeah, they have ones that are like, you know, white and white, or, you know, just like a white flight plate and then like a different colored rim. And then they have all kinds of different color combinations. Um, if you go to discoffcenter.com, which is where I got this one, they show you all the different ones available. You can see an actual picture of every one that they post. Uh, they do that with any disc that they consider to be unique. So if it's not just an orange disc, you know, it's some kind of interesting color that they can't quite describe. Or uh, for these, with the different color combinations, they'll show you a picture of every single one. So I picked this one out of all the different ones they had posted right when they uh, right when they started carrying these. And I really like it. It's 171 grams. I've been giving you a look at the rim design all along. Um, it's it's pretty similar to the Ion. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be a little bit more stable than the Ion. And I think it's supposed to be either faster or slower, but I can't remember right now. I don't feel like Googling it. So uh, I'm sure you can find that out for yourself. Um, I was never a big fan of the Ion. I had a couple that I tested over the, over the last few years and uh, didn't really care for them. But this disc is awesome. I really, really like it. It's a... Uh, it's a great complement to my anodes because it's very stable, um, but not 
super overstable either. It's just very straight stable, holds the line extremely well, has basically no turn for me. Um, unless I'm really trying to rip it, it'll kind of pop up and ride. Um, but on just like a regular smooth putter throw, it just holds the line I release it on and then has a pretty nice fade, um, but it still kind of maintains that MVP uh, signature kind of forward fade and gets good distance. Uh, I've really been liking this thing. It's an extremely intuitive disc. Um, you know, you release it on the angle, it holds that angle, and it flies all the way to the bucket like that, pretty much. You know, like, throw it flat, holds the line very well, has a little bit of fade. Really great for smooth hyzer, hyzer putter shots, you know, um, either gentle ones. I've also thrown it on some high cut hyzer, uh, hyzer shots off the tee. Works extremely well for that, and I'm really digging it. It went right in the bag um, after I started testing it. Um, it's also great inside the circle. It's not something that I would use probably uh, over my anodes just because of that little bit more fade. But it's something you can feel really consistent and confident with. So if you like a putter that you can really put a lot of energy on it and really just jam it in, not worry about it flipping or doing anything um, you know, too inconsistent, just hold that line straight into the bucket, I think you'd really like this thing. Um, it would be a, a really great headwind putter, which is something I'm sure I will use it for. Headwind approaches, it flies great into the headwind off the tee. Um, so yeah, headwind approaches, headwind, uh, you know, uh, tee shots, short range tee shots, headwind putter, uh, fantastic disc for that, and just a really great driving putter that you don't have to worry about it flipping on you and, and uh, flying places you don't want it to go. Uh, extremely intuitive and easy to learn. Uh, really like the Envy. I'm, I'm very impressed with it. It's a great mold. I'm going to keep this one in my system and I uh, look forward to looking into some other Axiom, Axiom discs as they get released. Um, so yeah, that's my review on the Envy. Hopefully you guys liked it and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.